Hello everyone. Welcome to coding with Shihab. We will start again our problem solving video. Now we are solving codality problem. Last time I prepared two video about iteration how we can get binary gap largest binary gap using java and python today we will start from our from lesson 2 arrays there are two problems one is cycle rotation another one is odd occurrence in array then let's go to solve cycle rotation For solving this task, we ha I have two hours for one task. Now I start the test. So at first, let's go to understand the problem. What we have to do? An array A consists of n integers is given. That means inside the array there will be several numbers and rotation of the array means that each element is shifted right by one index. So it will rotate at right side one by one index and the last, last element of the array is moved to the first place. For example, the rotation of array A. 3, 8, 9, 7, 6, one unsorted array is when it will be rotated, the condition is last element of the array is moved to the first place. So this is the last element, it should be moved to the first place like this and all the element is rotated right side. The goal is to rotate array A that means array elements in k times. k times means if you will give 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, it should be rotated 4 times, 3 times, 2 times. It will be shifted to the right k times. Write a function plus solution public int. This is the class, this is the method and that gives an array A consists of an integer and an integer k return the array A rotated k times. For example, given this is the given example and this is the rotated times. The function should return C rotation where made like this first rotation after first rotation it should be like this. 6 should be come first and 3 should be go to the index number 1 and second rotation 7 should be come first third rotation 9 should be come first as a 0th index and if all are 0 then it's also 0 will be shifting here and this 0 will be come here So now let's go how we can solve this problem. Codality already defined class and defined method for us and they already defined variable int a and int k. It's a rotated times. Rotate. This is the array. So let's go how we can do it. So at first what we have to do we should define one element i so later what we have to use while loop p is greater than by the way 
we are using java to solve this problem we can solve this problem using c c plus plus c sharp go which language you prefer you can choose from this place but now we are solving this problem using java in our later video we will solve same problem using python in this video we will use java after that we should take one temporary variable why temporary variable i will explain and it should be array element now we should use for loop and what is our target last element should be come in the first position then we have to start from last element after that i should be greater than zero after that I should be decrease this is our condition then in zero with index last element should become in the zero with index so that's why I should define i minus one why minus one i already explained several times in my previous video because array always count from zero that's why and this is m assigning last value in the first index number after outside the for loop what i have to do M. I already defined temporary variable inside the temporary variable I already assigned the last value length minus 1 so now same thing I am doing After that, I should decrease k. And later, I have to I have to return array. Sorted it will be rotated array. Now try to test: is it working or not? yeah let's fulfill all the condition see times like this one it's okay for this one it's also okay for this one it's also okay what we did we should recap one more time we define one function with two variables one is array variable one is targeted times variable rotate times target times you can say after that i define one variable i global variable you can say this one is global variable then i can get access inside this method i am not using this variable inside any loop basically you can't say global variable because global variable we normally assign inside the class not inside the method when we will define inside the class we will get this access this variable from any method within this class so after that i use while loop if k 
is greater than 0 then at first I have to take one variable temporary variable you can say and inside the temporary variable I assign the last value of the array this is my last value of the array so after that I use for loop and it's a start from the last element until and i is greater than zero and it's decreasing so later because it's decreasing it's a root table after that i assign in zero eighth index it will be last element and last element i already defined inside the temp variable that's why in zero eighth index I give the last element and I decrease the k because if I will give four times it will be rotated then after one times it should be decreased then it will be rotated three times more like this until this condition is fulfilled when rotated is finished we should return minus when we should return array but we should do one more thing we implement this if array is not empty if array is empty then what we have what will happen we should let's say we should fill up this condition also land If there will be no element then it should be returned a finish now it's fulfilled all the condition at first we are checking if it is empty or not now let's check again it's nice so now let's go to submit and we have to check this is our test input we have to check how many score we are getting We take 12 minutes to solve this problem. Oh, nice. Test score is 100 and correctness is 100, but performance score is not assessed. So, what is our code? You can see here. Here is the problem site. And from all the condition, extremely empty. We already checked this on if array is empty we should check it otherwise we will get less score and single element double element so from all the condition it's fulfilled all the requirement so guys thank you very much in our next video we will solve the next problem from arrays until bye bye take care